Hi, my name is Shalev, and holy shit, they did it. Yesterday, Apple has announced two new Macs, but these are the best laptops Apple has ever made. But let's start with the AirPods. They look like the AirPods Pro, but don't have this little thing on them, and they cost $179. That's it. All right, let's move to the actually important stuff. The MacBook Pro 14 and 16 inch laptops are the best laptops Apple has ever made. And here's why. New M1 chips. The M1 Pro and M1 Max. I don't believe we didn't got that name. That was so obvious. Like, like the iPhone 12 Pro Max, the AirPods Pro, AirPods Max. Maybe we'll get a Mac Pro Max, Mac Max, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. The M1 Pro has a 10 core CPU with eight high performance cores and two high efficiency cores compared to four of each on the original M1, which is good. We want and need performance. The M1 Pro has also increased the GPU cores from eight to 16. So theoretically, according to Apple at least, that means that we'll get twice the performance of the M1. Well, when it comes to graphics, of course. And when you think about it, that's really good because technically, at least in the naming section, they're the same generation, M1, not M2, so yeah, boy, I can't wait for next year. It's gonna be good. It also increased the memory limit to 32 gigabytes, doubling the maximum of 16 gigabytes on the original M1. The M1 Max, the big brother of the M1 Pro, has the same 10 core CPU from the M1 Pro's SoC, but the GPU has 32 cores, that's insane! So it's four times the performance of the original M1, which is already great. The memory limit has been increased again to 64 gigabytes. What can I say, Apple? I'm impressed. Both chips also have something called a media engine? I have, I have the script. And it's responsible for accelerating video processing. Basically does the same thing the afterburner card from the Mac Pro does, just better and without costing extra few thousands of dollars. It could mean that if I'll get my hands on one of them, anytime, I'll stop using my high-end PC with an RDX 2080. Shut up. Shut up. I know. Shut up. And just edit on a laptop. Everything. Because it's just gonna be better. Maybe. I don't know, I'm hoping. Oh, right, the laptops. Both are identical, however, the 16-inch has a greater resolution than the 14-inch model, but both have a better resolution than the uh, previous 2019 16-inch MacBook Pro model. The screen is the same Liquid Retina XDR display from the iPad Pro. Yes, that means we get ProMotion on a Mac. I'm a Windows user. I already have that. I don't, <laughs> but yeah, that's good. So it has an adaptive refresh rate between 24 and 120 hertz. That's great. And it has almost 10,000 local dimming zones. Almost? Yes, not over, almost. It has 2,496 local dimming zones. Still great, but not 2,500. Don't lie, Apple, I'm watching. You can pause right now and count 64 dimming zones horizontally and 39 vertically. And if you multiply 64 by 39, you get 2,496. So it has 9,984 mini LEDs. Do you think I didn't notice that? Well, I did. They also brought back from the death a MagSafe charging port? And it better be an HDMI 2.0 or 2.1, nothing worse. And an SD card slot. Thank you. And they didn't get rid of the 3.5mm jack. Thanks again. You're listening. However, now it's not 4 Thunderbolt 3s, but 3 Thunderbolt 4s. So the speed of the connectors could be slightly faster. And even though they have MagSafe, you can still charge via USB-C. So, uh, uh, yeah, you, you can do it for some reason, like if you don't like your laptop. The touch bar is gone and I have some mixed feelings about that, but I'm overall happy with the new design. The notch, however, I am not a fan at all. It does blend nicely with the menu bar on top, but why did you make it that big? It's literally like this. You could done this. It doesn't even have 
Face ID, it's just the 1080p webcam, which is welcome. But why the notch? Why the huge notch? What are you hiding, Apple? What the hell is it? Why? 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 Just tell me why. Why? But at least you don't have to worry about it covering content because if you take the bottom of the screen all the way up to the notch, it's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. So that's great. The menu bar won't hide your content anymore. Also great. But what about full screen mode? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, uh, and the top of the screen has rounded corners. Like, uh, okay, I guess. Like, all right, I get it, but it's, it's a laptop, right? It's a computer for pros. We need extra screen real estate. I don't want rounded corners, even though I think they're prettier. I don't want them. But even with the notch and without the touch bar, I still can't wait to get my hands on one of them. But I'm 15, so I, I can't afford it. Oof, yes, I'm 15. In case you didn't notice. Anyways, that was the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and tell me in the comments what do you think about Apple's Unleashed October event this year and what you expect from next year's Mac Pro or Mac Pro Max or Mac Max or M1 Pro Max Mac Pro? I don't know. Anyways, that was the video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.